So Eric, a pleasure having you here. Thanks oh, so much for joining us. My pleasure. So you've been at Clorox for 19 years. Tell us what your role is today. Well, today I'm the chief marketing officer. And at Clorox, the way we do it is um, pretty much all brand management, all media, our internal agency, all consumer insight, analytic insight, kind of all rolls up through me and my incredibly talented team. And what, is, what does brand mean in 2018? Is, has it changed with all the cultural and technological changes that are all around us? You know, we come from the very strong point of view that brands are just as relevant today as before. People don't dislike brands, but they really dislike bad brands. And brands that aren't relevant are interesting. And I think there's a big distinction because we see brands as fundamentally nothing more than an idea. Mm -hmm. And an idea manifest in communications and products and experiences. And if we do that well, the brand will be relevant and people will like it. If not, it'll just feel like a throwback of a bygone era. Well, what are some of the things you guys are doing right? Well, like a lot of my contemporaries, what we're trying to find out is you really can't interrupt people anymore. Mm -hmm. You have to come alongside them mm -hmm. on some sort of journey, you know, pick your metaphor, and you have to find a moment where you can be useful for them or they're open to different kinds of information. So you talked about your team. Yeah. Tell us a little bit, obviously, diversity, equality, big um, uh, issues for all of us these days. How does that make you stronger, and what kind of team do you have now that maybe you didn't have beforehand? We've got to speak to a lot of different people, and that starts with the right talent that can ask the right questions and have the right sensibility and sensitivity to not just the communications, which is the obvious piece, but the planning and the strategy and mm -hmm. the insights. So it really starts there. Um, and what we want is a team as diverse as the consumers are trying to serve. That could be gender. It could be ethnicity. It could be income. It could be political. Um, we think that makes for a really robust conversation that leads to great brands. Another difficult thing, transparency yeah. and viewability. How are you guys tackling all that stuff in digital? Well, the promise of digital is so utterly exceptional that we're willing to put up with a lot of grief right now while we as an industry, or the whole supply chain, if you will, sorts things out. But we've got to sort it out, and transparency, brand safety, viewability are all big hot buttons with us because we don't want to waste our shareholders' money. Sure. But more than that, we don't want to waste time and impression on someone who may not be interested in our brand. And more than that, we just hate waste because ultimately it diminishes our brand building strength. We have a very large contract with one of the very large walled gardens. Mm -hmm. As much as we value them, we have to have really difficult conversations about data, data sharing. How do we know that that's the data? Mm -hmm. So it's just raising the game for everyone not to get lazy, and we have to scrutinize every part of the chain. Give us some advice. Yeah. If, if I'm a brand new CMO or a CMO of a small company, what have you learned that, that uh, you could uh, put across to them to help? Your brands have to stand for something, right? But they have to do that because you know the people you're trying to serve. Let's go back to the fundamentals. Don't get too bamboozled with all the digital and technology stuff yet. Who is the humans you're trying to serve? How is your brand useful? I'd answer those two fundamental questions first. And then, only then, I would move to diving into that data and technology. And the great thing today, it's the great equalizer. You can buy stuff right from publishers. If you hire the right people or experiment the right way, you can be just as effective as a, as a Clorox media department. And it raises the game for us at Clorox because guess what? You don't Scale has no advantage today. But you've got to put it all together. Don't run to any one thing. You've got to put the whole thing. Strategy, brands, people, and then the technology. Don't, don't start with the technology would be my advice. You killed that, Eric. What can I tell you? Great. Thanks so much. Yeah.